वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फाइव डैश ट्वेंटी वन सो स्टेटमेंट इज ए फोर्टी मिलीमीटर डायमीटर रॉड इज सब्जेक्टेड टू यूनिफॉर्म डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टॉर्क ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव किलो न्यूटन इंटू मीटर पर मीटर डिटरमाइन द शेयर स्ट्रेस डेवलप एट पॉइंट सी सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द रॉड एंड दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाई यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड टॉर्क ऑफ वन पॉइंट फाइव किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर इंटू मीटर पर मीटर सो Uh, we have to find the shearing stress develop at this point C. So diameter of rod is given as 40 millimeter uniformly distributed torque that is 1.5 kilo newton into meter per meter. So you have to determine the shearing stress develop at point C. So let's start with the solution. So if you cut this uh, rod at point C, so definitely you have to draw the um, Free body diagram. So let draw it first. Draw it. So this is the rod and this is end. This is your point C. So now you can see you have you have uniformly distributed torque, and that is 1.5 kilo newton into meter per meter. So what if you convert it? Uh, this total length from point B to C is 300 millimeter, which is 0.3 meter. So, if you want to convert it into a torque, clear? So, this torque will be equal to 1.5 multiply by 1.5 into 10 to the power 3 will be into newton into meter, and total length is 0.3. So again, you can see for that uh, this is the total torque that is acting. So at point C, we will be having a torque that will be opposite to that, and that will be in counterclockwise direction. So torque at C will be equal to this value, which is 1.5 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 0.3, and unit will be in newton into meter. Now you have this torque, so you have allowable shearing stress. You know that allowable shearing stress is equal to T C into C divided by J. Torque at point C is 1.5 into 10 to the power 3 multiplied by 0.3. C is the radius. Diameter is given as 40 millimeter, so radius will be 20. So 20 will be equal to 0 0.02 meter divided by J. And J is equal to pi by 2 C power 4. C is 0 0.02 power 4. And this is equal to allowable sharing stress. And allowable sharing stress which we will have to find. So allowable sharing stress, uh, when you calculate it, you will get uh, allowable sharing stress or sharing stress at point C will be equal to it will be not allowable stress because this will be we are going to find the sharing stress at point c so t sharing stress at point c will be this one so it after calculation you will get 335.8 into 10 to the power 6 pascal n after further simplification allowable sharing stress at point c is 35.8 mega pascal so these are very simple problems i hope you are getting it again uh, if you have any question you can ask me in comment section and those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and keep watching thank you